I'm Adam with Fraser, and this is how to use the MEPS PMI system. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna show you guys initializing and start up, starting up the system. So right now the vehicle is completely turned off, de-energized, it's not powered, it's not plugged into shore power. It's just sitting out in a parking lot with everything turned off. So step number one here at the driver's side, uh, behind the, the seat, you're gonna wanna turn on the uh, module disconnect switch. So now that the module disconnect is on at the passenger side rear compartment, we're just gonna go through a simple two-step power on process with the MEPS PMI system. Very, very simple. You simply turn on this switch from the off to the on position. You flip this switch from the off to the start position. Immediately, within a couple seconds, the batteries are now providing complete power to the body. So 12 volt and 120 volt power are provided to the, to the body immediately. Now the uh, battery management system here in the control panel takes about a minute, maybe 90 seconds to fully initialize. And once it's, it's initialized, it'll give you a diagram and it'll show you the actual energy flow, the, the way the energy is flowing from the battery to the module. So now that the system is, is on, energized, and initialized, when these batteries are fully charged, you're gonna get over three hours of runtime. So that's everything on, on the body. That's 120 volt power, your air conditioner, your 12 volt circuits. You're gonna get over three hours of time out of these batteries. So that, that, that's incredible. Eventually though, the batteries are gonna get depleted and you're gonna have to recharge them. And that happens a couple different ways. You can either restart the truck let it idle or high idle, and that will start charging the batteries, or you're gonna plug it into shore power. So you just wanna be mindful when the system is on, the truck is off, we're running on battery power, and at some point, you're gonna to need to start recharging that system, either by restarting the truck or plugging it into shore power. Now, to turn the system off or to de-energize it, it's really, really simple. It's basically reversing that process. So the switch on the left-hand side, you're gonna go from on to off. From this switch over here on the right, you're gonna go from on to off. We're completely off here. And up in the driver's cab behind the driver's seat, you would turn that module disconnect switch from on to off. And now we're completely out of service. The vehicle has no power, um, nothing draining the batteries. So it can just sit here in the parking lot and, and when you come back, the batteries will still be charged. So now we're back in the driver's cab. The PMI system is on. It's been running for a few hours, so the batteries are getting depleted, and we wanna recharge the batteries. One way to do that, as I mentioned, is to restart the truck. Um, and then to increase the pace of recharging, you may wanna consider high idle. And to do that, it, it's a very simple process. The first step is you turn the vehicle on. Second step is you set the parking brake. The next step is you're gonna actually turn on cruise control using the button on the steering wheel. Final step, you're gonna hit set using the cruise control buttons and the idle is gonna elevate from about 700 RPM to around 1100 RPM we're at right now. And then using the resume and the set or the plus and the minus button on the steering wheel, you can actually increase or decrease your RPMs to whatever desired set point you want to be at. So you can increase it. We're at about 1500 RPM right now. You can decrease it back to about a thousand. To turn that off, you can either turn cruise control off, you can hit the brake and it automatically will turn the system off or you could re re release your parking brake. It would turn the system off. Hope that helps.